Hey guys, your objective of this video is just to discuss estimating error. There's a specific warning we need to look out for. So when we're using this formula, error equals f of b minus f of a times by b minus a on n, so we saw this in the previous video, this only works for increasing or decreasing functions. Okay? So the reason is, is the following. So we've got a function like this, which is both increasing, decreasing, increasing. So it has regions of increasing and decreasing. In contrast to the previous example, which is just an increasing function. So in this type of problem, the rectangles, they cannot stack up such that the height is equal to f of b minus f of a. So what I mean by this is the following. You can see that each of these error rectangles, the um, hatched black, when you stack them up with each other, the height is equal to f of b, the maximum value on this curve, minus f of a, the minimum value on the curve, right? When you've got a function which is not increasing or decreasing, so it's mixed like this, if you were to stack these rectangles up on each other, okay, you would have that height plus that height plus that height plus, plus that height, that height, that height, that height, so it'd be like, say, like that high. That's clearly not going to be equal to f of b minus f of a. You can see that the height of this rectangle, if you were to stack them all on top of each other, would be much larger than f of b minus f of a. Okay? So, that's the reason that this method only works for increasing or decreasing functions. So, there's two ways to get around this. Or, if you're unsure, if your function is increasing,